we're going to educate and visit Nashville, and uh, I have to uh, have a confession to make. What? My name's William. I go by Willie. This is a, a reality show called Riding with Willie. Really? I was interviewing you for my YouTube channel. Now, <laughs> will you allow me to share your story? Uh, it's totally up to you. <laughs> sure, I just can't tell if you're joking or not. No, no. <laughs> Hey, picking up Perla. Hello, Perla. Yes. How are you today? I'm doing good. How are you? Good. Good. So this will take about 13 minutes to get back downtown. So okay. if you need anything when you're back there, let me know. It's a nice shopping day. It's your shopping day? Did you have a good shopping day? Oh, yes. Excursion? Good day to go shopping? I'm sorry. You were... <laughs> it's okay. Um, yeah, it was pretty good. Um, yeah? Several. Where are you from? Houston. Houston. Yeah. You like coming to Nashville? You come here often? It's my first time. Nice. <laughs> I heard it's fun. Are you, did you grow up in Houston, in Texas? I grew up in Texas, yes. Nice. I moved to Houston about a year ago. What type of work do you do? You here on business? No. Just for fun. Fun? Yeah. Good. It's a fun place to go. Yeah. I'm just... Nashville sells fun. <laughs> yeah. Not your first time here? It is my first time here. It is? Yeah. Okay. So what was your, how long you been here? I got here last night. Okay. So your first impression of Nashville? It was... It reminds me of Houston. <laughs> it does? Yeah. Does Houston have a lot of uh, partying going on downtown? Um, I can hear it. Okay. Uh, but I live like on the other side of downtown, like across from all the bars. Okay. So uh, I'm not so sure. <laughs> I think there's more going on here than Houston, but as far as like the layout and like just I don't know, the buildings kind of reminds me of this too. Did you go out last night? Did you check it out when you got here or just spend a night no, I getting acclimated? Got some rest. Good. Yeah. I heard from one of my other Uber drivers that there's a uh, tractor supply convention going on. Do you know anything about that? Where is that taking place? I have no clue, but this is my last Uber. I know there's a... Um, there's another type of convention going on at Gaylord out of, at the resort, which is a place you need to go visit. What is it? The Gaylord Opryland Hotel and Resort, largest hotel in the in the East without a casino. Oh. 2,888 rooms. Oh wow. A huge indoor atrium with a man-made river that you can take a boat ride on. Oh wow. Yeah, shops and restaurants. And, yeah, you should take a trip out there and. Uh, walk around the, the hotel. It's huge. If have, just look it up online. It's a very popular resort. I've never heard of that. Yeah. That yeah. There's one at Dallas, too. There's seven. There's a new one in San Diego, but the Gaylord here is the largest of their properties. You could fit any of those other properties in this property like two or three times. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, it's huge. It's, it's, it's big. You've heard of the Grand Old Opry, right? Yes. Yeah, so it's part of Opry Land. It's part of that whole, you know, the Opry House is near there. Um, yeah, it's, it's fascinating. I would recommend that to any tourist. It's a beautiful hotel. What type of work do you do? Um, I just started selling, or I'm going to start selling uh, life insurance. I just finished my training. Nobody wants it till they die, right? <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Is that something when you were a little girl growing up that you thought you might want to do? You knew you wanted to do something in business or something in sales? Or or is this just like a career option that just was presented to you? And you... Uh, pretty much. I did a 360 on my life when I graduated college. I was wanting to go to med school. I was studying for my MCAT. I wanted to be a doctor. But... I like realized as I was studying for my MCAT that I don't even like chemistry and I was like what am I even doing here like I don't know it just 
I realized that I didn't really want to be a doctor. I just really liked learning about the subject. Okay. And, um, but I had already graduated college. So I was like, well, I, I could go back, but it's like, for what? <laughs> you know, like, so I was- So you studied pretty bad. I did, I have a bachelor's in psychology and a minor in biology, so that I could get- That is my, impressive. Thank you. <laughs> um, so like, I was on that path, but I just, I decided it's just not what I wanted to do with my life anymore. I, just, I didn't want that to be my whole life, because I like so many things. Like, I just, the idea of just doing one thing for the rest of my life, I just, it's too much. <laughs> And that was yeah. an issue for me because I love learning. Like, I don't mind. And I'm still doing, like, I just finished doing a, a project management certification and I'm doing business analysis certification. So, like, I don't mind the whole study. Like, that's fine. It's just, I like many things. I just, I don't want to be that one thing for the rest of my life. Are your parents okay with it? Do they have any input? Are they supporting your decision? Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I, don't want to I didn't mean to get personal. I didn't mean to go no, that way. Because okay. usually when you meet a, a, a med student or somebody that's going that route, their father or their mom's either a doctor or, you know, they're, they're following in the family lineage. Is that your is that your story or is it different? Oh, okay. None of my parents were doctors. So your parents are disappointed they don't get free health care now, free doctor. Now. That's a joke. Um, yeah, it's just... Your aunt called, go, I was counting on you to pick up. <laughs> Come a doctor, I was kidding. You were like, yeah, take I, a look at this right here. I, had, I did have a really hard time, like, deciding that I didn't want to be a doctor because, like, ever since I was six, I was like, I'm going to be a doctor when I grow up. And oh, I, wow, I, so everybody in your family knew yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, so it felt Earl like... Earl going to be a doctor. You had the, had the toy doctor kit, the stethoscope. I did. Yeah. I did. I had, like, everything. I had a little coat. I even had you had a lab coat? Yeah. You had a doctor coat? <laughs> when I was like little, and I even had a little um, human body with little puzzle pieces of the organs. Yeah, like... I had that growing up, but it was called the operation. Was that I little kid? Too, kid, yeah. kid? You had operation? Yeah. Were you good at it? Yes, I was. So you thought you could be a surgeon? Actually, I wanted to be a trauma surgeon. Well, because, you know, you could get that little funny bone out without, <laughs> without you know, yeah. hey. Well, that's a beautiful name, Perla. Yeah. Where is that a family name or? No, it's actually Spanish. It's Perla. Okay. Oh, nice. Which is Pearl. Okay, nice. Yeah. That's nice. We're glad you came to visit Nashville, and uh, I have to uh, have a confession to make. What? My name's William. I go by Willie. This is a, a reality show called Riding with Willie. No way. I was interviewing you for my YouTube channel. Now, will you allow me to share your story? Uh, it's totally up to you. <laughs> sure, I just can't tell if you're joking or not. No, no. <laughs> and I got proof here. Look at this handsome fellow on this card right here. Look at this. There it is, right there. Let me That's see. for you. That's for you. There it is. Riding with Willie. You've been riding with Willie. Is that okay? Yeah. That was a fun story. I love the six-year-old girl wanting to be a doctor with her little lab coat. <laughs> 